Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We're back again for day two of Millionaire Mindset. We could call it Muslim and Millionaire Mindset. Just go mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Again, these things are what stops us really being out there and having the most brilliant, best business that we want and reaching six figures, seven figures, whatever, multiple seven figures. The sky's the limit, really, if we can break through these mindsets. So today, we are talking about focus. And this is a really cool one for me because I'm so good at following the next bright, shiny object or my next bright idea. And before I hand it over the technical stuff to my VA, and actually sometimes I'm a bit naughty and I still dibble dabble in there, but because I had a degree in IT, I could do it. So I could have an idea in the morning and I could have the sales funnel up in the evening. Now the problem with all of this is that, with lack of focus, is that we're building too many bridges. So say that in order to get our business to six or seven figures, whatever you're aiming for now, we need to build a bridge from A to B, right? Now if we're building 10 different bridges, from point A across to point B. We're using up our time, we're using up our money, we're using up our energy, all of our resources across too many things. So the process is gonna be much slower if, if at all successful. Whereas if we actually focused all those resources into building one bridge, into really doing one thing really well, one awesome sales funnel that works, then inshallah we can have an amazing business, we can bring in revenue through that bridge then then we can start using that to build the next bridge and then the bridge after so it's about focus it's about bringing it all in onto that one project so what I want you to do is think about what are all the things that you're working on how many different things are you working on to build your business and then I want to think you to think about this is a really key question how many of them are likely to help bring in money tomorrow we're so good at doing a lot of the jobs that we can fiddle around with that get us nowhere. Yes, they're important jobs. They need to be done, but we get caught up in them rather than the things that will actually bring money into the business. Sometimes, again, it can be fear. There can be all sorts of things going on for us that are preventing us really being able to focus. And so it's really important that we figure out what's going on there and break through that because without breaking through that it's going to hold us back and we're going to forever sabotage our own success. However, sometimes it's just lack of focus. Sometimes it's like my situation which was, oh I've got a great idea. So the Ramadan giveaway, those of you who were in the Ramadan giveaway with me, you want to know what happened? A week before Ramadan, I had a bright idea and I did it. It was great. I don't regret it. It brought in emails into my list. It did a great thing for the Ummah. It was great working with everybody. There was so many positives out of it. But during that time, all I did was the great Ramadan giveaway and all the other things that I was meant to be working on went to the side. It wasn't the bridge that was taking me from A to B. It was something that was beneficial to my business, but it wasn't part of the bridge that was taking me from A to B. So that's what I'm talking about is the focus, is drilling into the one thing that you need to be working on so that you really get there. Because what tends to happen if we're doing too many things at once, if we're focusing on too many things at once is we'll run out of steam. We'll run out of enthusiasm. We'll get demotivated by the lack of progress. So write down all the bridges you're trying to build and then pick one to focus on. Pick the one that is going to be most key or easiest. In fact, here are the criteria. Think about what is the one that's gonna get you there quicker, cheaper, and that you have the confidence and strength to do it. That's a criteria to think about. Quicker, what's gonna be quicker, cheaper, that you feel confident in doing it and that you feel you've got the strength to do it. That's one criteria. Pick that one, then build it. And then with the resources from that one, build the next one. So look at your current expertise. Look at your skill set. Look at your experience. Do you have all of that's needed in those areas to do the thing that you're focused on right now? If not, pick one of the, the, the bridges that you're working on that you do have all of those things for. 
then do you have passion for it if you have passion for it again another tick is it the quickest and easiest if yes another tick and the one with the least financial outlay the one that's going to be the cheapest um, for you and it's going to have the least time barriers out of all your bridges perhaps line them all up make a table use those criteria in fact maybe I'll put a little chart together for you and then tick the boxes that match for each of the different things you're trying to do in order to build your business and the one that gets the most ticks choose that one do that one first focus only on that one until it's done until a gets to b right don't burn out one of the worst things we can do with burnout do you know that 80 percent of women run businesses collapse in the first 18 months 80 percent be one of the 20 percent and really be focused be passionate have the energy to see it through make sure it's sustainable and focus in on the one thing that's really going to drive your business forward to the next level whether it's five figures whether it's six figures whether it's seven figures whatever your next level is that's what it's going to take and don't forget is it going to bring money into the business that is key money yeah we don't like talking about money <sighs> I didn't like talking about money I'm actually happy to talk about money money's cool money is just a vehicle we put a lot of emotional energy into money and we can sometimes get so involved in the philanthropic element of our business and in giving everything away <laughs> that we actually don't make any money the thing is money actually empowers you to grow money gives you the ability to bring on team members and pay them to do jobs so that you can focus on what you need to really focus on money can help you buy the software that will automate things so that you don't have to do those things manually so that you can focus on what you really should be focusing on get it you need money to grow your business you cannot scale your business up unless you have money coming in to pay for what you need for that scaling process that scaling process you're going to need automation you're going to need the software related to that you're going to need the team behind you to do that you're not going to be able to do it on your own all right yeah it's this myth that you can do it as a solopreneur there will always be some people and some expensive software behind those solopreneurs out there all right yes where will be the head of the business where the face that people know but behind us is going to be a team and there's going to be a system that's in place to keep us going and to do that you need money so make sure that you are thinking about what's going to bring money in and then don't get distracted by all the other fluff all right no more fluff we're going to focus so today is all about focus I want you I'm going to actually upload to the group to teachable wherever you're watching this from a sheet that is going to show you the criteria and give you some columns and I want you to put at the top of each column the different things that you're working on or you're thinking of working on and then I want you to go through the criteria tickle the boxes and the one with the most ticks pick that one focus on it and get it done before you move on to the next one all right maybe you can even use that as a way of prioritizing them from one to however many projects you've got based on the the number of ticks each one has then you're going to come back and you're going to post in the comments of this video what is the one action you're focusing on to get from A to B right now what is your key project and I'm really looking forward to seeing what it is inshallah play the game with me this is about breaking through the barriers the millionaire mindset see you again tomorrow assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh